Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. So in this video I would like to explaining about some of the applications and the use of the sign bar with the different kind of jobs. So let us see. Sign bar is a precision angular measuring instrument used along with the slip gauges and it is used to measure the angles with very accuracy and you can say locate the work to the given angle. So this is all about the construction of the sign bar. So let us see the construction of sign bar. So in that case sign bar are made of with high carbon, high chromium and corrosion resistance steel. So basically these all materials are suitably hardened, precision, ground and stabilized. So in the construction of the sign bar, two cylinders that will be having equal diameter. So just you can see the cylinder number one and cylinder number two, which will be having a same diameters are attached at the both the ends of that particular sign bar. So that the axis of these cylinders are mutually parallel to the each other and also parallel to the at the exact distance from the upper surface of the sign bar. So that will be the super surface or you can say surface of the sign bar. So the center to center distance between the rollers, so this one up to the this two which is available for the fixed length it means it will be 100, 200 or 300. So the diameter of the plug is or you can say these rollers must be same size and the center distance between these two that will be having a higher accuracy. So the important conditions of the sign bar is that the surface of the sign bar must be parallel to the center line of the rollers. So suppose this one is the center line. So this line. So this surface or you can say super surface it must be parallel to the center line of the rollers. So that will be the necessary conditions. Sometimes some holes is being drilled into the sign bar. So just you can find that will be the one, two and three holes is being done into the sign bar. Because this one is generally reducing the weight and to facilitate the handling of the sign bar. So just you can see the construction. So that will be the end face, roller number one and roller number two over this side and that will be all considering as a relief holes. Suppose you see from the one of the side face of the sign bar, so that will be the two side face and this is our rollers. So now we will see the working of the sign bar. So now we will see the working principle of sign bar. So just you can see the working operation of the sign bar that release upon the application of the trigonometry. So one of the roller that will be on to rested onto the surface plate. So suppose this one is considering as a surface plate and the another roller that will be placed onto the slip gauges. So these all are considering as a slip gauges. So what happens if the total number of slip gauges which will be having a height of H. So if the height H that will be the height of the combination of all the slip gauges. So I think here that will be the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 slip gauges is being used for this much the height of the slip gauge and another that will be resting onto the surface plate. So suppose this surface it will be making an angle theta. So what happens for the sign bar and that will be sin theta equal to h upon l. So that much amount of height divided by l. So l that will be this much 
distance so either it will be available in the standard range of 100 200 or 300 which you are using for that so that will be considering as a length l so it will be now available into the different lengths so that will be the sine theta equal to h upon l so finally you will get theta so if you want to interest to find out the angles so theta is equal to sine inverse of h upon l so that will be the manners or against the principle of the sine bar for the working of the measurement of the angles accuracy required for sine bar and first one rollers must be equal diameter second one distance between the roller axis must be precise and known so this much amount of length that will be predefined and known and third one the upper surface of the sign bar as you can see it must be parallel to the center axis of the line so these two it must be parallel so these all are the necessary conditions or you can say requirements of the sign bar now we will see the use of the sign bar suppose we are assuming that when the component is of the small size so according to the principle of the measurement of the sign bar one of the roller which is resting onto the surface plate suppose this one is considering to be a surface plate so one roller is resting on that and another roller which is resting on to the number of sleeve gauges so these all are considering as a number of sleeve gauges which is having a height h and suppose we are taking a length over here that will be the 100 so that will be the basic arrangement of the slip gauge but how you can take the readings that will be the important part so just you can see suppose this is our one kind of component which is a small size so just take a look small size of workpiece material or you can say component so if it will be resting on to that upper surface of the sign bar so now the arrangement is like this so component is component is resting onto the sign bar and both the rollers that will be resting onto the one is onto the surface plate and another that will be onto the slip gauges so now you will use the dial gauge so suppose that will be the pointer of dial gauge said initially that will be having a some angles so that will be considering as a dial gauge so now you move this dial gauge into both the directions and if it will be having a same readings so for this same readings either it will be moving from this side or this side so now this surface which is parallel to the this surface so now that will be making a angle theta over here so what happened so that will be making a theta angle this l that will be the standard length is available 100 200 250 300 according to my requirements and how much slip gauges is required to maintaining this constant reading from the dial gauge whenever you get the same readings from the movement of the dial gauge according to that you have to select the number of slip gauges so according to that changes of these dimensions so number of slip gauges it may be vary so suppose the edge that will be depends upon the shape and size of that particular components so when it will be fixed when the constant reading is taken by the dial gauges so suppose such kind of arrangement for the small size of the components so that will be the application of the sine bar so theta is equal to sine inverse of h by l 
so that will be the methodology to find an angle of that particular components so that will be the angle which is similar to this angle so that will be the method for measuring the indirect measurement of the angles of the workpiece material for the small components now for the second case for the measurement of the angle with the help of sine bar suppose this is our sine bar so in that applications of the sine bar now the both the rollers which is resting onto the different kind of slip gear so if you unable to measure the angle by the our previous method for the some jobs so you should make the different kind of arrangement so both the rollers that will be resting onto the slip gauges so the suppose this is our work piece material so which is also resting onto the top surface of the sign bar and similar way we are arranging such a way that so the here that will be our dial gauge so by the movement of this dial gauge that will be having a constant distance so you should maintaining both the height with the help of slip gauges so from roller number 1 that will be having a height h1 and side from roller number 2 that will be having a h2 and this is our parallel surfaces and this is our standard length which is available onto the sign bar so for finding this kind of arrangement of the angle of the components so theta that will be equal to sin inverse of that particularly height difference so the absolute height that will be the h2 minus h1 divided by l so this is the new way to make or can say measurement of the angles of the small size of the components with the help of sign bar now we will see when the component is of the large size so for the large size of component and measurement of the angle of that particular components so component is resting onto the table or you can say one of the surfaces and both the side just you can see the arrangement using of the one near height gate for the measurement of the different kind of readings so that will be from the left side the high, one near height gate number 1 and according to its needle so that will be the arrangement and that will be attached with the sign bar so sign bar is basically resting onto that component like this and the center to center distance between sign bar and that will be indication as a L which is standard available so the rollers now that will be in contact with the height gate so by the application of height gate you should measure the this much height so that will be considering as a reading number one from another side that will be the one near height gauge two similarly our dial test indicator you can say one kind of fiducial indicator is being used because that will be generating the constant pressure towards the measurement so that will be added with the another roller so that will be the measurement of the reading two so by the two height gauges you should measure the both the side of the heights so suppose that will be the h1 and that will be side from the h2 so that will be the measurement with the help of one near height gate so the height over the rollers can be measured by the one near height gauges the using dial test indicator or can say fiducial indicators so the annual of the height gauges to ensure the constant measuring pressure so this is achieved by adjusting the height gauge until this dial gauge shows the same zero reading for the each measurement then we will take the difference of the two height gauges so for this suppose i want to measure at that angle with this horizontal surface with your work piece or you can say components so sin theta that will be equal to r1 minus r2 divided by l so that will be the r1 r2 or you can say 
h1 minus h2 divided by l so this is all regarding to the measurement of the large size of the components but that will be the one more things the by the using of the sign bar which is difficult to measure a uh, above 45 degree so that will be the one kind of limitations of this sign bar for that we will see the next theory another important arrangement of the sign bar for the large size of the components so here that will be the large size of components so now this sign bar which is placed onto that components so one of the roller that will be resting onto the components and another that will be onto the slip gauges and that slip gauges it will be resting onto that components so by the using of this dial indicator so by the adjustment of the number of slip gauges with respect to the same readings by transferring the dial gauge onto that particular surface of the sign bar so by the rotation of by the movement of these dial indicators you should manage the number of slip gauges so suppose by this that will be the some delta h kind of movements is being found so what happens for the measurement of this kind of arrangement so theta that will be equal to sin inverse of h that will be plus or minus delta h divided by l so that will be the another special kind of arrangement for the measurement of the theta angle so that will be the theta angle and this is the length so this is the one of the methodologies for measurement of an angle for the large size of the job so now we will see the some of the advantages and disadvantages of the sign bar so let us start with the advantages of sign bar it is precise and accurate angle measuring device second it is simple in design and construction third one it is easily available so these all are the basic advantages of the sign bar now we will see the some of the disadvantages of sign bar disadvantages of the sign bar and first one reliable for measurement less than 15 degree so which is difficult to measure more than 45 degree or above 45 so greater than 45 degree which is having a difficulties third one difficult to handle and positioning with respect to slip gauges the next physically clumsy to hold in the positions and last slight errors of the sign bar which is causes the larger angular errors so these all are regarding for the sign bar which the principal use and advantages and disadvantages so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you very